Today, I'm playing Kerbal Space Program, but with a twist. You see, I'm not allowed to use any kind of parachutes ever. Oh, and also to make things even harder, I can't use air brakes. Can I beat the game? Let's find out. The first thing that I needed to do was figure out how to build an uncontrollable rocket and somehow land safely. The first design that I had wasn't very good. Clearly, I had no way of slowing down and I quickly realized this soon after. I'm gonna need another one of these. Uh oh. Oh no, and he's sure so enough, dead. I crashed. He's so dead. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna redo this. I have an idea. I tried we'll again. Put this one. It's easy. This did not work. My original plan was to do a water landing by boosting back up at the last second, which would stop my speed and stop me from crashing. Oh no. What I didn't realize uh, though, I mean, it's not is possible. that timing this perfectly was way out of my capabilities. Oh no, we're so dead. I tried again. And again, this one actually worked. Oh! Oh! God. Oh. That could work though. Oh, no, that's not gonna work. And again. And again. And again. This was Until finally I had a brilliant idea. Maybe we need a different design. We don't have any liquid fuel yet. That's okay. If we just throw some of these on here, use them as like a crash cone, I think. As long as we don't use them. So let me just put this one here and this one here. And maybe it'll work. This is the run. This design actually got a lot farther. Not physically, but I actually survived. Maybe? Did we do it? We got one! And this was huge. More science meant that I could unlock more parts, which would make my life way easier. I unlocked basic rocketry and engineering, which would allow me to land way easier and gather more science. This was the second rocket I made. Already Golden. looking much better. I had a bit of a rough launch, but I made it up with a very smooth landing. Nice. I think... Then I unlocked survivability and built another right rocket. 1600, that's not bad. This was basically the same as the last rocket, but with some boosters on the sides. Then I gathered signs from the upper atmosphere and unlocked more rocket parts. And another smooth landing. Now with boosters unlocked, I set my sights on going to space. I had a terrible launch, but somehow I regained control of it. On the way back down though, things went south. Unfortunately, I did not actually have enough fuel to survive re-entry. I tried everything, from spinning around to spinning around but not trying to spin around, no. to burning up in the atmosphere, but nothing worked. And because I quick saved like a coward, I had no way of undoing the flight, 
So Jebediah was just dead. And although he will be missed, we will never forget his contributions to Curb and Kine. So I loaded up with some extra fuel and headed out towards space again. This time I actually went successful. I gathered more science and landed safely in the ocean. This was after like 30 minutes of failed attempts. Finally! 43 science. Then I unlock basic science, which would allow me to start building satellites and gather even more science. Oh, and I also unlock stability to help with controlling the rocket. This was Mark V, with four boosters on the sides, the main stage, and an upper stage. This rocket would put me into orbit. After many attempts, I finally got a good run. Although, I did forget to cut the engine, so I ended up 50 kilometers higher than I needed. This last stage would somehow have to put me into orbit, get me out of orbit, and land me safely back on Kerbin. Since I didn't have maneuver nodes unlocked, I had to eyeball everything that I was doing, which resulted in a very elliptical orbit. Holy elliptical. I mean, it's an orbit, it counts. Now all I had to do was make it back to Kerbin. I positioned myself at the highest point of the orbit so that I could burn the least amount of fuel. Now that I was out of orbit, all I had to do was carefully position myself during re-entry so that I didn't burn up in the atmosphere or spin around. Reentry was a bit stressful, but I got lucky enough to where I landed over a body of water, so it was alright. I made a few more tiny adjustments and almost flipped around, but I made it through the atmosphere. And then made it back with a landing that definitely did not scare me in the slightest. Oh my god. With the you success from coming back from an orbit, I was ready to go to the moon. With Kerbin finished, that's the end of part one. But be sure to like for part two where we take on the moons. See ya.